Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Jenny Rowe. I am the Curriculum Development Coordinator for the Catherine McCulley Center. And I'm helping out uh, my colleague Marimer today by uh, making a short tutorial video on how to use the tutoring log. So um, if you're watching this video, then most likely you are a tutor. Um, and this probably applies more so to online tutors, but um, my understanding is that everybody uses the tutoring log, whether you're online or in person. So hopefully this will be um, of some use to you. So I'm going to share my screen and let's take a look at it together. Okay, so this is an example tutoring log uh, that Mario Mario made. And um, this is just to show you how to use it. Um, she's been noticing, especially with the online tutors, that there has been some confusion on how to use them or how to use this particular log. So um, let me just walk you through how to do this. So um, it's very important that you put um, the date that you meet with your student. Um, and also very important that you put both the start time and the end time, okay? Um, if you or your student arrives late, uh, go ahead and make a note of that too. Um, it's not a big deal if one of you is late, but it does help us know um, maybe why something took longer to do. Maybe you had less time to do it, or maybe your student just needed more review time or something like that. So try to be as precise with your start time and end time as possible. Um, then make sure that you give your uh, tutor name, the book that you're using, this would be side-by-side -side book two, for example. Um, the pages that you covered during that hour with your student. Um, if you use the workbook, if your book happens to come with a workbook, um, then go ahead and put any pages you used for that as well. If you don't have a workbook page, um, you can just put NA, not applicable. Um, and then the notes, the notes are also very helpful for Marmer and for anyone else who's keeping a record of um, the tutoring logs. Um, things to mention, what you covered during the lesson. Another really important thing to mention is if you're getting ready to take a unit test with your students soon. Um, so if your book has unit tests and you're coming up on the end of a unit or a chapter, make sure to put that in the notes. Um, also, if you're getting close to finishing your book, please put that in the notes too. So then that way um, we know that your student will be testing, taking a test to see if they're ready for the next book um, in the series or perhaps a brand new series altogether. Um, so the more information you can put here in the notes, the better. Um, and Marmer has also noticed that sometimes, so, you have probably seen, if you've been working with your student for a while, that on the tutoring log, maybe the next week you log in, you'll see these little X's. Um, make sure that you do not <laughs> put an X here, okay? This is for Marimer only. So she is the only one who puts the X's in here. And this is just a way for her to keep track of documentation, okay? So um, so yeah, please don't put anything in the staff only um, column. That's only for us to fill out. Um, oh, and then uh, there is one more tab here. Um, it's uh, under meeting info. This is especially important if you are tutoring online. Um, please make sure to tell us which platform you are using. This one, for example, uses Zoom. Um, but maybe you and your student use WhatsApp or um, Google Meet or some other platform. Um, it's very helpful to uh, put this in here in case you have any connectivity issues or last minute cancellations or anything like that. And then also very important to put a link to your meeting. 
So um, if you're using Zoom, for example, and you have a scheduled meeting each week, um, please put that link uh, that you use with your student into here. And then again, that way, if you need to um, cancel last minute and um, are looking for a sub, um, one of the staff members at the CMC can e easily step in if we have your link, okay? Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, student info, um, this is information that um, can be filled out by, um, I believe by the CMC staff. I'll double check with Marimar on that. And then testing log, um, Again, this is something that Merrimer can help you with, but um, if you happen to remember to put in the testing date um, the last time you and your student took a test, um, that would really be helpful too. Okay, so hopefully that helps to um, clarify some things a bit. Um, if you have any other questions about how to use the tutoring log, um, just make sure to reach out to Mary Merrimer um, or any other CMC uh, staff member. Um, you can always reach out to me as well. I'm currently working remotely in Montana, <laughs> so you probably won't see me much in the office until next year, um, but uh, feel free to reach out. My email is jennyr at cmc-cr.org. So thanks for listening. Have a good day.